Claude Ginet spent his whole life lost in the world. In addition, he lived as an adulterer for nearly 10 years. I suffered a lot, really. It was something really terrible, a real tragedy, actually. But in the middle of this turmoil, he is introduced to the Faith Show. One day, Dr. Suarez says, so then faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the Word of God. Then I thought to myself, I'll be vigilant then. So I kept hearing, and the Word was revealed to me. And the Word started to change and transform my life, little by little, and I accepted it all. And one day he met Pastor Eric from the Grace of God Church. Not a word was said by them. The anointing of Pastor Eric changes something within the heart of him just by looking at him. His look penetrated this place no one else could have reached unless they were God. That day the changing process started. And that really touched him, you know, and he, he said, I have to go to the church. We went to the church to get divorced and not to get married, you know. We were in a deadlock. There was no room for anything, not even dreams. It was all superficial. We would go into church holding hands, but outside the church, each one followed different directions every day. And this lasted for years. Finally delivered from prostitution and having decided to follow God, he goes through some rough times and has to confess to his wife. Can you please forgive me for all the things I have done? At that moment, I cried and cried, but because I'm a believer, I must forgive. I said I was willing to pay the price because I didn't want any other husband. This is the man I chose, the man I love. Now delivered by the truth, the couple decides to get married. However, their financial life was completely ruined. He was a salesman and gave the tithe off the leftovers. But then God touches his heart and Claude Ginet understands the truth behind the offerings and decides to follow the teaching. Thereafter, and that day I sold 10, perhaps 20 times more units than I would usually sell in a whole month. Afterwards, I decided to take a job at that company to sell cars. But then there's a problem. You see, I had to tell a lie so that I could make the sale. The value of the installment was built in on that return. Then I decided to sell the cars without any kind of return. He said, I'm going to work and be righteous and earn whatever I earn and that's it. So I would earn 98 reais plus the food stamps. And I went to church and gave 10 reais back, right? Because I wouldn't give 9.80, right? After all, broken seeds won't yield fruits, you know? I was left then with 88 reais. But I could always make ends meet. And that's something really inexplicable. It was something divine something really profound. At this moment, he is called by God to become a sponsor. I asked, Lord, what about the value? 60 reais. So then I would give 60 reais, and I was left with 20 reais, 28 reais actually. And I would also give half of the food stamps to the church because there were leftovers. It was a period of time when I became closer to the Lord God. And this lasted for 12 months and eight days. Then he quit that job and started at another company, and he spent some time there selling mattresses with his friend. Then God said, now's the time for you to quit and go work with your wife. Nowadays, we have this company that handles real estate paperwork. Then we started to sponsor the company, so he would write down my name and the company. The doors have all been open, you know. Since I've become a sponsor, the Lord has honored us. He has blessed us, and he changed our lives. He lifted us up, you know. God changed our lives. We started to evolve. I have my own car now. There's a car for the company. It's a different life now. God took away everything that was bad for us. He's a true servant of God. At the first church, he was a deacon, and then he was a presbyter. Today, he is a blessed pastor. Oh, praise the Lord, brethren. 